going to be okay. Going live now. We're going live now. And we are live with Mr. Matt Ferguson. Hello. Hello. I feel like I saw you only a few hours ago. And that did happen. That. that did happen. Oh, yep. That it wasn't in your head. It wasn't in my head. It wasn't a dream. Oh, it was. Oh, fantastic. I'm, well, that's a relief. I'm now drinking because it's a bit later in the day. Okay. And I've had my camembert for tea. Oh, oh. Um, I'm not going to have a drink. I nearly, nearly, nearly was compelled by, you know, peer pressure. Yeah. Um, so thank you for joining us for what is uh, your final session with us uh, this weekend. Uh, You're welcome. We've obviously had you uh, for the social on Friday night and we had the vice press session on uh, this afternoon and then and then obviously the, the, the big panel. Um, but now we and but we've talked about we've tended to talk about lots of stuff that you that you do outside of perhaps your as a designer, you know, we've talked about, you know, your work as the creative director and, and, and as yep. an art director. Um, and there's been some very kind words from people who've, who you collaborate with in terms of, you know, art directing. Yeah, I know. I know. I can't believe it. Yeah, neither can I. I don't know how they, it, as I say, I'm just, sort of they're just like, playing nice. It's not true. They all hate me. That's what I think. Oh, is it really? Oh, okay. Yeah. I'd um, hate me. Pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, but today we're going to, so in this session, we're going to go through some of your, um, some of your, uh, recent work and we're going to obviously one of the key sub subjects that's been this, uh, for the, for this convention has been composition and, um, your yeah. empire, we're going to take a, a look, uh, we're going to do a deep dive on your empire strikes back. Um, because I think it's a great example of, of, uh, of a of a poster where where composition has has been done to a T, <laughs> should we just say? Thanks. <laughs> um, and uh, so yeah, I mean, when you approach a uh, obviously you, you will have said some of this already in in other sessions that we've had this weekend. But if there's anybody here who hasn't already seen heard you say this. But when you approach a poster and you're designing uh, and you're, you're trying to come up with your concepts, what medium are you using to come up with those? Um, a computer. You go to a computer, but and 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 actually, a, and a sketchbook is a last resort. Is that what you said as well? That's how I. That's how I go. Yeah. Um, when I first started out, I used to do more sketchbook stuff, and then I've, as I've got more sort of proficient although i've been using photoshop for more than 20 years um but as i've got more proficient and stuff I, I just sort of can bash it together quite quickly in photoshop um first unless i can't think of an idea in my head so the first place is in your head and you think what would be good and usually i can think of something and go and then try and translate that into a poster but if we're talking about Empire Strikes Back with that one, I kind of got stuck. I think I think it was because of everything that had come before and um, just the magnitude of it, because it was like for the 40th anniversary and I was like shitting my pants, basically. I was like, shit, I can't do it. I can't do it. So um, I sort of gave up for a bit. And then uh, my wife said, yeah, just chill out, we'll, we'll watch the film. Um, so watch the film and then when I do that I'll have a little got a little notebook um, which I did give you some pictures of the sketches that yes, I do we'll, and stuff we'll in that some of those as you're, as you're speaking um, about that particular yeah and uh, then you know you're watching the film and then you, things can jump out at you uh, and you're trying, trying to think of something that's maybe a bit different to the norm with a film poster especially with something like Star Wars where it's been done so many times and I, the, the the chamber Darth Vader's meditation chamber you know it opened up and I was like that's like a really good graphic shape that's black on the outside and really bright and white on the inside and I just thought it would make a really interesting shape where I could do the black be, being space and then I just thought oh, I'm going to and have TIE fighters flying out of it so I just really sort of thumbnailed it down like literally the quickest two-second scribble 
And I was like, that's it, sorted. And then like when you're doing client work, they usually want more than one concept. So I had to do some of the concepts, uh, which I didn't want to do. So I made them maybe purposefully not as good. Uh, and then you, you go from there, but that's, that's you, when you get the idea, you know, so I jumped, I basically jumped out of my chair. Same thing happened with uh, Stranger Things, actually. I, we were watching Stranger Things and it's when in series one, I remember this, that the teacher explains the upside down to them with a either piece of paper or a paper plate, maybe, or yeah, something, yeah, yeah. I can't remember now. And I went to Kate, that's what you can do. You can just do a picture with them on the top and then do the reverse and have the kid lost underneath with the monster. And I literally stopped the episode and ran upstairs. It was to, like a lightning yeah. bolt sort of moment. Yeah. I was like, nah, let's do it. <laughs> that, that's twice that's happened in my career. The rest is crap. In fact, I, I'm, it's great to hear you mention that about Stranger Things because I said, I think when we were, we were discussing in messages, or like in terms of, I said like some of my favourite work, for, I think I would say, well, in general, I think my favourite work from you is where I see it, where, there's a, where you've put a concept forward. I'm like, oh, that's clever. And and the and and the two big ones that stand out for me in that respect are Empire Strikes Back and Stranger Things. Um, mm. We're going to show the uh, the uh, there's a there's an image that we've got of um, all three of the of the of the comps that you put forward to the show. I don't think I've I don't think I've ever put that out before. You know, that'll be a first for people to see the other ideas that I kind of put forward, which I would have been happy to finish if they picked. I made it quite clear which one I wanted. Yeah, I think I even yeah. probably wrote on it. I want to do this one and made that one bigger. <laughs> yeah, they're they're going to see it just in uh, in just a second now. But um, yeah, and you've also made the you've made the the one you wanted significantly bigger. Um, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And do you do that often? I mean, I mean, are you often putting forward multiple concepts when it comes to this kind of? Um, sometimes when they ask, but. If they don't ask, I'll try and get away with one because I usually know what I want to do. And if you give them choices, they might pick something you don't want to do. Or sometimes a client might go, this is, this is could apply to people sending stuff to me to work. So just do one. Don't send me multiple ideas because I might go, I like that bit. I like that bit. I like that bit from different comps put them together in one and then you get a jumbled up mess but you know well it, the risky game it, it, and, and the thing is that i think you you kind of give like this sort of for, from what's been said so far of like your comms when you're doing like when you're doing art directing that it's like that 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 sometimes the response will just be no <laughs> Like, as in, go back to the drawing board and, and yeah. refine it because i don't want you don't really want to force an artist's hand so much and make them do something that's not them even though I do do that um, uh, so you kind of just say no and then you've got to like have faith that they will find the right way to do it sometimes you can say no like 50 times that's the problem <laughs> um, I just want to put up the uh, one one last image from from that process because it's the it's the uh, the one where you've got the empire poster done in various different colours, and if you could just tell us what what that is about. So ah, well, people actually I didn't explain that to you when I sent you the picture because uh, I'm lazy and I couldn't be bothered. Uh, it's it, when you're doing separations for screen print, which this this was a screen print. This is part of the process on that where you break down each individual element. This is how I do it anyway, so that you can have control over different colour, different aspects in every little segment of the print. It's very complicated to do, but when you've got a piece of artwork from scratch like that, it's uh, really good for when you're doing separations. So that's what that is. Um, so we'll we'll say, so now we'll go back to, to to just the two of us speaking, just so that you're getting so that there's no problem with that delay thing where you get to see what's on screen and all of that. Um, yeah, 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 cool. And uh, if I just uh, on you you do obviously I know you love a Dutch angle. Yeah. Seven point five degrees. Is it definitely seven point five degrees? Or no, I, I have no idea what it is. I just said that. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I thought seven point five was a little bit slight. No, I thought no, I no, I. I Maybe it's seven point five on, 
like the Amblin esque ones, you know, when it's landscape and it's mm-hmm. a slightly less incline, maybe. To be honest, I don't really measure anything or do any. I don't like if you do a border, I don't measure it and I don't go that should be two inches. If I don't space anything out like by absolutes, I don't put stuff directly in the middle, you know, like a tight title. I'll do it by eye, especially when you've got an f- interesting logo, like say the Transformers logo. If you put that directly in the middle, it doesn't look right. So like that artist, who's a very good artist, obviously, put it to the side. And that's like part of the thing with good composition isn't just following rules and making things spaced out equally. It's about doing what feels right based on what you've got in front of you. There you go. Um, Someone's asked, did you have to redraw the Empire Strikes Back titles? Yes. I did. I, I, I changed. They're actually a little bit different to the original ones. I did neaten them up a little bit. That's all redone by hand. So, where, do you, so did you feel like actually you wanted to go a step? You wanted to do some sort of design tidying up? Is in you know? Well, actually, yeah. Well, because originally it would have been hand drawn, and there's weird things that I thought was a little bit off. But what it was, I think, what had happened. This is an interesting question. Is it, the logo was like on a slant? Yeah, Mm -hmm. and it was drawn like that. But then when you straighten it off, the letters look weird. So you kind of like had to redraw them to make them look more correct for that angle, if you know what I mean. Because when when it's uh, slanted up, it's more italic, even though it's not italic. So the the logo was redrawn, and that's that's actually what happened. Yeah. Um, so you were talking earlier about um, about Nolan and <laughs> no, I, I am going somewhere with this. I promise. Okay, but good. You were I don't about, want to I promise, be I promise. negative. No, no, I, no. It's not a negative. Uh, you were talking about ha- like having emotional connections with films, and I just wanted yep. to see if you have quite an emotional connection to the artwork when you're as you're creating it. If you're trying to create an emotion, if do you have like in the same way that you obviously look for create uh, look for an emotion in a film are you looking yeah. to create one in a poster so there's different things there's different ways so like with a teaser poster you want to create a sense of mystery uh, because obviously it's a film that's coming out that people haven't seen so you kind of like have to give it a different vibe and you tend to be a little bit more moody and paired back then with like a re-release poster what i like to do like the empire strikes back one is trigger memories so you have like Luke fighting Darth Vader on the steps and it triggers that memory for people that have seen the film. So yeah, I want to, I have the tick box of that. Like, can you hear the music? And if you can hear the music, then that's kind of like, it, I mean, I don't know if other people can, it's just like, I think, Oh, I, I hear the Imperial March when I look at my, that Empire Strikes Back poster. So I think I did. Okay. Uh, like a gut feeling. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. And okay. Joe, Joe Wong has said, uh, for the fans. Yo, Joe. No, Joe. Yo, Joe. I said, yo, Joe, like oh, G.I. Joe, Joe. Joe. Right? No, no, Joe. I said, yo, Hi, Joe. Because he's nice. Joe. I like him. I've not seen him in years because we used to go to see each other in New York. He said that for the uh, for the fans, the Vader alternate comp for, uh, for your Empire Strikes Back became a book cover from Matt. Is that right? That's what he said. There was a book cover for that sort of Skywalker thing. Could be that, okay. which had elements. Yeah. Um, so you. So yeah, he's right. Yeah. Uh, so there are a couple of. I think there are a couple of sort of uh, layouts that you that you tend that you tend to gravitate. Obviously, you like the Dutch angle, and you sort of gravitate yeah. to that. Do you have like? Are there there some things you just you like to really that you really enjoy working in like in t- certain le- certain sort of layouts and obviously, in, obviously whether it's portrait or landscape and and that sort of thing yeah 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 so i do like landscape ones like amblin esque which i like to be more s- scenic and stuff in it like you know like the t-rex chasing the jeep it's a scene so it's not really a, a poster in a traditional sense it's more like a scene from the film made into a piece of artwork which are cool because um, they're kind of like fun and dynamic to do. But I, uh, when I'm doing like a film poster recently, I seem to have done a quite a few 
like bullet compositions, a bit like the Empire Strikes Back, where it's in the center and it shoots out a bit like this. This one, that's that where it, stuff radiates out from the middle. And you almost and kind that of go creates around a the nice clock. feeling. You yeah, yeah that creates a nice feeling stuff, for a, yeah. for a poster. Um, yeah, and I, I don't I don't tend to do very many headshot style posters. They just sort of turn me off a little bit. So there you go. Um, Again. Obviously, obviously, you're releasing your Transformers post uh, AP. Yeah, in like eight right? minutes. In like eight, in like eight minutes, they drop at half past. Everybody. Yeah, half seven. Um, please, to, if you do try to grab one, please do come back. Um, <laughs> the um, and then we'll be doing a giveaway of of something after that. Whatever anybody wants, exactly. out of everything I've ever done. So if I've got it, and if I feel like letting you have it, but yeah, yeah. we we'll just go down the list. So it's anything. Within reason. Within reason, yeah. But if I've got it and you want it, you can have it if you win, whoever you may be. Pretty amazing. And I haven't yet thought of a question. So if anybody wants to hand me a question at some point, that'd be sweet. Or you could just pick a name at random. I don't give a shit. <laughs> well, at least you're honest. Um, so, uh, but obviously, the reason I brought up Transformers is obviously I know you love Transformers. Like a lot, a lot. There he is, hot rod. Yeah, it's keeping me calm. <laughs> keeping you calm. Do I stress yeah. you out, Matt? No, no, no. I just, I just a very sort of um, emotional person, I guess you could say. Even though, I'm, do you, you fight? Know. Do you fight like if you're thinking? Do you sort of like as because it's quite you know? It's yeah, I call them my desk bots. So I have them on my desk, and I fiddle with them, transform them, and move them about. And, yeah. Fair like a child but it's nice because it takes your mind off of like work and bullshit and like that so so the reason I, I bring that up is what's your point with Transformers I'm going to get to it now get to right, it so last last year you were sort of working on it and I would say it's uh, you know you, you're you've made your way through quite a few of those sort of dream projects yeah Transformers obviously being a big one that you uh, had you touched Transformers before now I can't I, off the top of my I did some there. fan art years and years ago but no nothing proper um so obviously that's a it's a it's a big step to to to, to have done to have done it and obviously there's quite a lot of art that you yeah tell you what that. like on series three or four of the Transformers G1 cartoon on the DVD there's a fan art gallery that came out in like 2004 or something 2003 my Optimus Prime picture's in there. Nice. So, you know, full circle. Full circle. So, are there any other projects you'd really like to do? Yeah, Star Trek, the motion picture, but I probably, if anyone at Paramount watches these stupid videos that we've been doing, probably well, there was, killed that one dead. <laughs> yeah, there was a statement made last night that uh, we won't repeat that, uh, that yeah. Uh, but um, do you feel like you're sort of, uh, I asked this question about, and it would be nice to hear, you know, if you could sort of elaborate on it, but whether you sort of feel like you're, obviously you collect toys and, 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 and whatnot and you collect and collect posters you know, as we yeah. do, in the, but do you feel like you're collecting actual having design like the the collecting work like properties that you've worked on collecting different films that you really care about and you're like you're trying to get you know almost like a i wasn't i wasn't i wasn't initially but it seems to be going that way yeah where i kind of like kick up a stink about wanting to do something and then i get to do it or they come to me and they ask me to do it and i'm like yeah i'll do it um so it's kind of like becoming a little bit of a tick list of all my dream stuff. I've not done the Star Trek is like the number one thing now um, and more John Carpenter because I've sort of set my thing out with the John Carpenter stuff with the Studio Canal and then the Thing uh, re-release and I want to do every single one of his movies, even Ghosts of Mars. I just want to do them all. and I'd love to have that whole thing all with one uniform, uh, sort of style of poster throughout it, throughout the whole thing. So that's the number one thing. The number one thing. Just the thing. thing. Yeah, yeah, it's like a joke. Yeah, so it was like a joke, but not quite, wasn't it? Yeah, like um, a joke, but yeah. yeah. But not good. Um, we've got a few people asking if they've got any plans to do another Blade Runner. 
Yeah, because I didn't really like the one I did before. And I have already sort of put out feelers to do the 40th anniversary next year to no avail. It's a bit... It's a bit of a weird one, I think, licence-wise, or just in general where where maybe they're, they're not... Probably because 2049 underperformed. I don't know if they've kind of just given up on that franchise a little bit. But they'll probably put something out, but yeah, I've, I've not I've not heard anything. I, I would want to do another Blade Runner for sure because that wasn't very good. The one I did before. And, do, and you, do you have ideas for that as well? Is that sort of like a well, yeah, it's, fucking it's knocking. space cities and flying cars and shit? What do you mean? Yeah, yeah, sweet. There you go. There's your idea. Done. Rain. Cut print. Uh, we've got a question here. Some from... neon lights. Sword. <laughs> We've got a uh, a question. Uh, have you ever thought about dipping your toe into video game posters? You've already done some video. I've done games. a couple. I did a one for Crackdown Three, which turned out to be a shocker of a game. Apparently, although I played it and it was all right, I thought it was just like ten years out of date. I guess um, I did one for a game called Cuphead. That was cool. Really um, I used to work in video games before I did this. Long, 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 long time ago. Used to do like uh, textures and stuff for for Quake and Doom and games like that. Wow, awesome! That is, mm. Those are like I don't really game. If I'm if I'm being. I did a thing. Quake I did Doom some or... stuff for a, a Star Wars game. Like my first Star Wars experience was doing a Darth Vadery thing for uh, a Jedi Knight game. I'm gonna say it was Jedi Outcast. It might not have been Jedi Outcast. It could have been like, Jedi Knight too. I think you've just like named the only three games I've ever played on a computer. Um, so uh, we've got uh, some. There's some appreciation for Cuphead in the. In yeah, the- Cuphead's awesome. It was, that was a surprise. Yeah, no, I'd like to do more games stuff. Actually, I think yeah. Um. So sorry, it's because we've got a lot of comments. I just want to make sure that we get people get to ask the questions that they like to that they'd like to. You get got like. like- 30 seconds before the yeah and I'm sort of mindful on, so. of that so I, yeah would you do Halo again as someone has commented oh, I did a Halo thing yonks ago like Halo 3 or something like a fan thing uh, yeah because Halo is cool I really like Halo good game um, good so game good game good game yeah, we've got to, we've got to, we've got to, we're going to have the drop is going to happen in a few seconds, but please do come back. If yeah. You, so if you buy, do buy these posters and then you can come back and I'll talk more and we'll do a giveaway. We'll That's right. Giveaway. And you've got posters, like poster previews to reveal as well. Oh yeah. Uh, New York Comic Con stuff. Yeah. Just so, teasers. We've got some teasers, uh, to whet the appetite. Um, so yes. I'll, uh, I'll sort of say what they are and talk a bit about them as well, but even though you won't have seen seeing them so that'd be fun I feel like I'm a little bit subdued I, maybe I need that Australian to bounce off of you know right <laughs> it should be live I am now going to check the link and this is where it's not working I <laughs> know oh, they're on they're live they're live go we're good they're go, live go 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 guys on I am there's only like 20 and I, I I've got five kids to feed <laughs> I know I'm sorry that's all right uh, someone just gave a shout out for Total Recall. Yeah, that is exactly what I was doing. Total Recall. Right, I'm back on. I've, I've posted that, so it should be fine. I think. Um, what do you so, want to talk about now? Have you have you like calmed down a bit? Have you kind of like had a bit of a? Are you getting tired? Not calmed down because you've been calm the whole time. I mean, just tired. You're a bit tired. Feeling a bit subdued. Being beaten down by us pricks all day uh, you know i've had my cry so that's over so that's yes. good yeah who made you cry i want to know who made you cry was it me uh not it yet was, <laughs> it was keys keys taking responsibility so there we go key um, made you cry key made me cry Shock, but, shocking yeah um no it's uh do you know what i, I was say it's the i spent like the convention is 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 organized with this like it's it's in messenger. I've done, it's been fun. I've had a good time. I was talking shit. I might have talked too much. Might have bulldozed a little bit. At least, at least this is this is it's bad to, to as as they say to compare to somebody you think of maybe doing things 
more overtly than you at least i'm not like doing live mixing and crazy australian shit like that <laughs> oh i I don't know if he practiced that. It seems he, he is, yeah. He's a good one. Um, Joe Wong asks. Speaking of, what's the little, uh, what's the little Ferguson's favorite posters that you that you make that you? She likes Transformers, so she really likes Hot Rod. So she likes Transformers one. Nice. She says it a lot. So that's actually her Transformer, technically. I, um, I let her have it. But, you know, it stays with me most of the time. <laughs> like, I, I really yours. like it too. <laughs> it's yours, but it's going in the cabinet. It is yours, I promise. No, it's not going in the cabinet. Nothing goes in the cabinet. <laughs> I open everything. I don't give a shit about that. I'm, I've got no intention of selling it. I'm not buying it to... to excuse me, I'm drinking beer. Um, I've got no intention of, of uh, selling it to make money. So I, I lose accessories. The boxes get trampled on slash trucked out. I don't care because it's a toy it's to be Fair. played with. No, yeah. And well, I also, I don't discourage anybody that wants to keep them in the box because that's that's their choice. However, I will say my opinion: this thing turns into a car if you keep it in the box. You're never going to find out what that what that's like. It converts. Oh, yeah. Was it? Converts? Yeah, yeah. Well, I said turns, right? I just say transforms. I can't say transforms. It's, it's, you can say turns or com- convert, I think. But you can't say transforms. Uh, Chris Gibson, uh, who is posting in the comments but is also sat over there, said, yeah. I love, love, love Matt's prints that he did for Mini Ferg of Moana. Um, yeah, they're not for sale. I, no, there's only one. I know, but it is a, it is a beautiful... I, I, I think I've seen it before. It's a, it's a really nice piece. There are lots of people who have scored your foil and they're very happy, by the way. There's, yeah, so I just want to just back. check... check like it might not have sold out yet. I oh, know it's sold out. Oh, well, the regular's still there. Buy the regular. What are you doing? Come on. <laughs> Why isn't it sold out? I'm selling it at like cost as well. Five kids to feed. <laughs> We've just been discussing how I've got one kid. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> um, uh, so I think what we're. Yeah. I think what we'll do uh, is uh, we'll head to these these uh, previews uh, that you've got, okay. and then and then as I say, people want to submit their questions. I'll I'll ask as many as I can, um, uh, and because um, you're, you're possibly more likely to answer a question here than in than in an actual convention, right? Because I know you're not you're not a massive fan of conventions in the, in in person. In an actual convention, I I like to just turn and walk off. Yeah. Yeah. I just go, I'm going. And they've gone, where's he gone? I've gone. <laughs> Went to the bar at New York Comic Con. Not the bar there, because that was mad. Went to a bar up in uh, Manhattan somewhere. And then got messaged saying, like, um, that Taika Waititi wanted to meet me. And I was like, I'm in a bar. I'm getting drunk. <laughs> so me and James, half cut, went back down <laughs> to New York Comic Con to go meet Taika. <laughs> And how in was, a lift. How was that? We're all sort of a bit, I'm a bit like, how was that? Yeah, he's really tall. He's really tall? Yeah. Okay, good. Good. That's so he my was standing up and not sitting down. Yeah, we were in a lift, I just said. Oh, sorry. Um, okay, so we're going to show... <laughs> well, for Americans, that would be an elevator. <laughs> we're going to pop up the uh, this uh, your next Batman piece. Um, which is in sort of a series that sort of focuses on the... Uh, not the whole thing. No, no. I haven't got the whole thing. You haven't shown me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's in the same series as the cars, you know, like Batman yeah. 1989 so, yeah. and um, yeah, the 66 and stuff. So and this is for Batman guess. in the animated series and it yes. fits in with your, with your, uh, with your, as you say, with your car series. Your, uh, the, the 60s piece is the, is it 66? What, what year is 1966, it? 1966, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the 66 piece is, is uh, I think the, the, the Dutch angle you've put it on there and stuff. Is I really loved difficult. making that one, actually. There was something really fun. I guess because that show uh, used a lot of Dutch angles, especially when the villains came in or when there was a bit of action. So it, it sort of really suited the poster. I think it's a, it's, it's a poster I, well, I imagined. I, I, I could imagine it being um, like on the back of, of the toy box, for example, you know, like actual like 
actual okay, actual yeah, art, yeah. Uh, because it was it feels it's it, it feels sufficiently retro in terms of the sort of vibe, um, and uh, and yeah, um, so people can see yet yeah, that that, uh, that this uh, preview and you see the bat signal. Um, not giving much away, although you can guess much. what it's going to be: city, Dutch angle, Batmobile. It's like a really big black brick. The animated one so it wasn't hard to do because it's just a big square brick with like a grill on the end of it <laughs> um so we will now uh go to the uh star wars piece that you've got coming out for uh, yeah. new york comic-con that was an interesting one and that is for yeah it's the one with the what's it an 80 oh, i don't uh, know what it's an attack with an, an orange door on the side orange of box, it yeah I don't know why they thought uh, that was a good idea in the in the, like let's make it's it cool. orange. It's cool. Um orange. yeah that that you could maybe guess that, that might have similar ish vibes to the Empire Strikes Back poster. Oh is it I, why did I, I so it's is it portrait? No, it's going to be a 24 by 36. No, 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 is it is it portrait is in it's 24 by 36. Oh, yeah, yeah, portrait, yeah. By 24. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Don't come at me with these terms <laughs> that I can't think about because I've been drinking. I've had wine as well with my camembert. <laughs> Cheese and wine goes to the head. <laughs> um, and, uh, and, okay, so, uh, and also we've got the uh, piece that people already know is, is, is coming out, um, but it's, uh, it's a poster I oh, really yeah. enjoy. Uh, oh, the, so I, I, I actually was too busy working on Shang Chi to do the separations for for that, and I usually do do separations, but this time we got a, a guy called Ben to do them, and he is like some sort of tenth level wizard. It's bonkers, it's really good screen print, and it, it, the variant is going to have foil. So, and we've done transparent inks, so the foil should show through quite a lot of it and look really cool. And then there's going to be one on like a tin, you know, like a, a metal plate or whatever. You're doing a met. You've got a metal variant. Yeah. Ooh. That was um, a good poster. I enjoyed doing that one. That one was me ripping myself off. I, I ripped off um, Stranger, Stranger, Stranger Things. Things. Yeah. I only know that because you told me that. I didn't spot it in the first place, I promise. I couldn't think of anything for it uh, to do. I had, like, a, a for a while, like, a stack of TVs, different era TVs with different stuff in each TV, mm-hmm. really sort of soul bass style. That was going for a while, and it was like, it doesn't really feel like me. And then I was just like, it can be two things. And then I thought, oh, I'll just do that. Da. Um, we've got uh, a lot of people, a lot of love for for the Wonder Vision poster, um, and uh, but that's when, I, honestly, when it, yeah, it came out good. When it when it came out, dig, you know, digitally speaking, uh, there was a lot of love for it in the first place. So uh, I think lots of people are going to be very excited. And the fact that it's a timed edition, it's nice when things are. It's not timed. Is it not timed? I thought you had a timed no, edition version. No. Or you got a really uh, high run it, on one. We were going to do timed, but I think it might be just it was going to be quite a big run, yeah, because. Um, there's just, I, I, I guess, there's so much stuff going on at New York Comic Con. It's better to do that because they're going to have like 50 prints or something. So, and these are all also, I guess we just want to screw everybody over so that there's people complaining that they don't get it. <laughs> um, and these are all sorry. <laughs> and these are all coming out via BNG, right? Well, yeah, my my boy is my favourite guys because I've been working with them since the beginning. Joe's been a good one. Um, all time. All, and all t- of all time? No, just the whole time oh, that I've been time. like working, really. Like, I'm going to say since 2012 or 2013, before I was even anybody. So, so you go way back. Way, way back. Way, way back. Um, okay, so... Uh, which is your favourite out of the variants? I assume he's uh, Luke asks which is your favourite of those variants. Well, he, you won't have seen them necessarily. Um, I know what they're going to look like, and I'm going to go ahead and say the rainbow foil the rainbow will be my favourite version. Is the one. Um, yeah. Any more Amblin esque stuff on the cards? 
Yeah. You heard it here first. Um, has anybody thought of a question that I can ask? For the competition? Yes. You don't have to ask a question, just pick somebody at random. Okay. Who's Nat's favourite director? What's the question? And you can't cover that. Oh, well, we can ask it then. Well, they is... might not know who my favourite director is. And then Matt could say yes or no. Who is... Okay, well, so the person who comments this first... No, I can't answer that question because people have already heard it. The person who answers... Uh, I don't know, I've gone blank. Sorry about this. Mm. Go on, the question is... I'll ask the question. Okay, you do that. I've, I've just thought of one straight off the top okay, of my brilliant. head. Brilliant. Uh, and then whoever answers first gets... And answers correctly, gets the um, freebie giveaway. Uh, so the question is... Uh, who is my favourite Transformer? Ooh. It has been stipulated during this convention, actually. Well, exactly. So if people haven't been watching along, then they're fucked, aren't they? That's what you get for not, you know, giving Amp Jam the love it deserves. Yeah. <laughs> you could have gotten any print that Matt Ferguson is happy to give away. And now... Yeah, wife, I'm only happy to give away. <laughs> Something I've got piles of that nobody wants. No, I didn't mean it like uh, that. I, mean it. I do. <laughs> um, people are asking what your favourite beer is and what beer you're actually drinking. I'm, dr I'm drinking Estrella, which is pretty much my favourite like lager to drink. Um, I really like that Gamma Ray beer, the American one, but it gives me a bit of a, a woozy feeling, so I don't drink it very much. Uh, Matt, you'll probably, uh, if you went to the comments section of the YouTube video, you'll probably really enjoy it now because it is now just plastered with uh, <laughs> names. Of well, who's the first person to the say The first person was one. Stephen Sutcliffe to answer Hot Rod. Oh, Stephen, he's always winning everything. What a dude. Uh, I don't Andrew know if Swainson he is, to be honest. Your favorite, uh, Andrew Swainson uh, suggests actually that your favourite Transformer is He-Man. So... <laughs> <laughs> He-Man does transform though That is very much a, a valid answer However it is incorrect Or does he convert? <laughs> Fuck that, I don't, I don't care He transforms okay. um, uh, so Prince if, Adam So we've got probably about about probably about five five or ten minutes more that, uh, to to uh, to have um, for people to submit questions if they want to ask you anything. Sorry, I couldn't fill the hour with hilarious anecdotes and uh, no, that's not the point. And, that's and not... talk about composition and shit. No, it's it's okay. You, I mean, you've already contributed a lot to the conversation about about that. But I've the... said a lot about composition, but what I didn't say very much before because I was sort of playing along uh, is that. Really, it's about a feeling. It, does it feel good to look at? Not about the rules and the regulations, and it's not about doing a specific composition. It's not about the stupid snail with the lines on it that people have, the magic composition thing. Although I have Don't used that to argue. I, I've, I've argued the toss on stuff with that before with clients because they don't know any better, but it's got nothing to do with any of that. It's just what feels right. Possibly going against the grain will create something that probably stays in the mind, maybe. Um, yeah. Have you ever considered doing a collaboration with uh, with other artists on prints? You uh, you already have one. Um, I do it with Flory, and that's enough. I mean, f fuck me. <laughs> You're a nightmare. Um. And it wasn't that I that I didn't feel you could fill fill the hour. It was that. This is Amp Jam poster convention and social, and I want to give people... I, I'm, I'm, I was just taking the piss. I don't really I care. You, I know you are, but I'm telling... Well, you, don't apologise to me. But I'm telling the audience about what it's about, you know? The poster about, convention? Yeah. Posters. Yeah. Yep. Uh, new <laughs> Netflix Transformers series. Are you enjoying it? No. No. You heard it here first. Mm. Would no, you do it's, any... it's average. <laughs> it's fine. It's just a bit boring, you know? It, it it could be really good because it's got some good ideas, but they're really slow, and they've got some guy playing Optimus Prime that doesn't sound like Optimus Prime. I'm like, what's the point of that? Optimus Prime, make it sound like him. Would you do anything for Stephen King? Uh, Stephen King poster, rather. 
I did I did some concepts once. I did a shining concept. It was a Kubrick thing, but I did I did uh, I thought it would be really cool and they just went, nah. So yes, I would I'd love to do Stephen King stuff. Um Joe Wong has asked about uh he's he's putting in some good questions to be fair, so I'm asking Joe that. Wong is the best. Why well, would see Blade Runner twenty forty nine with Joe for the first time? Nice. He's asking, what's the most obscure property you'd want to tackle? Uh, I think that's been my you do a lot of blockbuster movies, but are there other are there sort of lesser known movies that you'd really like to tackle that you, that perhaps you haven't already, or are there certain movies that you've done which are lesser known, which you're really happy that you got to do? Is that, there's this film, and it's, maybe it's just fresh in my mind because I didn't watch it. Uh, I, I mean, I watched it years and years ago, but I just watched it again not long ago. Zatoich, Z- I don't know how to say Zatoichi, Z- Z- the blind swordsman one with um, Thingy. I don't know if you've seen it. Absolutely amazing. Some people it's old. I haven't seen it. Watch it. He's blind and he's like a samurai, and he just he's sort of going around, and um, he's, it's incredible. Someone said, what about the new He-Man? Oh, I watched uh, the first episode because I don't have much time for stuff. Um, I thought it was good, but I didn't like the music. Okay. But it was a very uh, interesting uh, approach and it looked good. But I just didn't like the music and then I just didn't watch it. Anymore. Um, Fraser Varney asks, what about a Del Toro poster? Uh, if I said Del Toro, I would do The Devil's Backbone because that's the best. Uh, that's my favourite Dead Horror movie. Fair. But so, Rogers, yeah. someone's asked. <laughs> what, the, the, the 70s TV show? <laughs> or like the old old book Rogers? I don't know. Uh, the nah. I'd like... No. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, let's say, well, well, we'll get a couple more, a few more, uh, a, a few more questions in. Uh, maybe not just, would you do this movie? Like, yeah. Ask something interesting. No, no, no diss. Um, Godzilla, look, I've got Godzilla shirt on. I do Godzilla. Would you? Are you going to do a Godzilla or? No, but I would. I really like Godzilla. Fair. Um, would you do a Transformers movie poster if there was a new Transform? I think if if it was a new Transformers movie, is what's the? Well, I was I was on Bumblebee, and it didn't it didn't pan out. I had a really good idea for it as well. I thought I think that's one of the I think that's the best. That's a good movie as well, and the idea was to do an '80s style poster, but it was also riffing on the old box art for Transformers. So I was going to do like the grid pattern and everything, and have it really neon and '80s, and have like Bumblebee done like it was the box art from the old toys, but the new design, and they were just like the. Uh, Someone said, yeah. thought about NFTs. I know the answer to that, and it's no. No um, chance, no way. Uh, the uh, Carly draws, asked about Pacific Rim, but you've done a Pacific Rim piece. I did. Yeah. I'd revisit it. It's a pretty that's cool a really good, That's a really good movie. Del Toro is just the best. He doesn't, doesn't make bad films. Doesn't People are like, oh, Mimic's not that good. It's like, it's pretty good for 1996. What else was coming out then? Species and shit. Come on. Really good, Mimic. <laughs> so much, <laughs> I think I'm seeing the responses to me asking for interesting questions and someone's asked, could you fight off a bear with T-Rex arms? It depends if I also had a T-Rex body, because if I had a T-Rex body, then yes, because I'd just stamp on it. If I've just got me, but with no, tiny little I arms, uh, I don't no, know if- I couldn't, because the bear would just bite my head off. I think rather than it's like if you, I don't think there's a comment there. I think it's could you fight off a bear that had T Rex arms? Oh, wait, I thought it was like if I had T Rex arms, know, which wouldn't I be think, very good. If so a bear had like, T Rex arms, it wouldn't make wouldn't make much difference because it'd still have a big fuck off head that would bite you. Yeah, yeah, fair. Um, uh, you don't have much time. You don't have Timothy Dyer says you don't have much time, but are you looking forward to any shoes or video games? I do want some new shoes. Yes, I'm looking forward to getting a new pair of Vans trainers soon. Okay. Um, do you mean shoes or shows? It says shoes. 
Yeah. Uh, I Video suspect, games. I suspect <laughs> he meant shows. <laughs> I know, I'm just taking the piss. Now listen, I really do like video games and I'm looking forward to getting into some old video games because they keep re-releasing them. Like they just redid um Quake remastered that and it's the same it's just like slightly better i, I don't play new games they're too complicated and they, you have to put 300 hours in the, who's got 300 hours to play far cry come on it's like that uh what was that that south park episode where the uh where it's world of warcraft it's how do you kill that which has no life mm. um would you rather fight off one horse-sized flory <laughs> Her horse isn't that big, so and he's a <laughs> wimp anyway. Or 100 duck-sized florets. I go for the one flory because, like, little duck-sized flories would be a real problem. A hundred of them. They just, just eat you like piranhas. Um, not an interest, not a good image. Are you still watching Bluey? All the time, every day, yeah. I've got a kid. What do you mean? Um, do you sell original prints uh, a, uh, that are not APs like one of one? No. No. Um, did you see they released uh, Quake's official sound, uh, original soundtrack on vinyl? Yes, because it's Trent Reznor and it's awesome. Trent Re- and everything Trent Reznor does is awesome. The best. That That's why the nail gun box where you get the you get the ammo for the nail gun has the little N I N logo on it. Sick. I didn't know that. Coolest game. Quake is such a good game. Um, what models are in the pipeline? You were, and I think there's some, there was going to be a little kind of. I think. Oh, like, like ornaments and yes, stuff. Ornaments, yeah. Uh, so the the dinosaurs, which are going to be little dinkers, I'm going to do them in the same sized box. This is my idea, as the uh, unicorn. So they'll be very small, but there's going to be five of them. And then I might do bigger versions down the line. Uh, and then I'm going to do a, a gold unicorn and a copper unicorn. And then that's it for unicorns. Oh, no, I'm going to do baby unicorns. I'm going to do all the unicorns that I've already done in the same colours, but baby. <laughs> so you can get a little baby unicorn to go with your full-size unicorn. At some point, I'm just going to have a room full of unicorns. <laughs> Any uh, band posters that you would do? No. Oh, yes, no, I'm doing one. Shit, I'm doing one at the moment. Yeah, I am. Yep. Sweet. Um, (laughs) uh, How are you liking the new Blender features? Uh, I don't know. I I don't really know what I'm doing with it. I just sort of muddle through, so I don't know. It's just like 3D was really weird and crazy to me. I just sort of mashed my hands at the computer until it sort of makes something. Fair. I, I was going to ask, I mean, I'd, I'd say this perhaps forgetting that you've maybe you've already done stuff, but you'd say about like seeing a post, having a poster and seeing and hearing the mute, seeing a poster and hearing the music. Yeah. Would you do some, uh, some stuff for record, you know, for record sleeves? I, I nice. did, uh, I did do some stuff and it never happened. I did some, the Rogue One, it was really cool. Um, it was using my Rogue One poster, you know, with the, and it was really cool, but then that didn't happen. But yes, I would, because I uh, have some vinyls and I would do soundtrack covers, yes. I'm just thinking about, obviously, with John, Car- like your love of John Carpenter and yeah. him being, obviously, both director. The thing is, that's like a really cool sort of hip world to be in, like vinyls, like, and I'm not like that. <laughs> So I just they just they do they can smell it on you that you're not cool and they're just like fuck off you're not doing an album cover get lost you fucking loser get back to your Transformers even if it was a Transformers vinyl they'd be like oh no we need to have a really cool urban artist do this it's very disparaging of me towards uh, vinyl people right there and I've probably now killed all chances of ever doing any work if people I'm, what am I saying no one's going to watch this anyway it's fine. Uh, I think that's about time. All we've got time for uh, because it that's is a way to end. That's that's. I mean, we can. Okay, one more question. Okay, there's yeah. there's uh, 
which other artist poster do you wish you'd made or, or maybe maybe what's your favorite poster maybe i know exactly what this is uh what, like, i'd wish i my favorite uh alternative poster is ollie moss's evil dead dutch angle maybe dutch that's angle. where i ripped off that idea from um it's, it's not a maybe I, I i did um <laughs> thanks ollie and, <laughs> Can't have owned a ship over an angle. Um, Seven point five degrees. He's gonna sue my ass, right? <laughs> what else was I gonna say? What was the question? The <laughs> which other, gone to uh, which part? It, it's which posters do you wish you've made? But I don't know if you, some people don't have that sort of. Uh, oh, that was it. Phantom City Creative, their Jaws one with the the sick. Jaws, and it's sick, isn't it? But do you know a. a Literally a week or two before that fucking thing came out, I had that down as a sketch. I was going to do it. Damn. We'd just got the Jaws license and I was going to fucking do it. That exact same concept with the boat and the Jaws in the window. And then those clever bastards came out and did it. And I was like, well, I may as well just fucking kill myself. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. If that's how you want to end it. Like we literally need to finish now. <laughs> and right. He's not going to do that. Okay. Ferg will be here tomorrow and for all time. And uh, we are really grateful for having uh, had you join us. It's, 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 it's great. To this is on. a cool watch. Look, Star Trek watch by Star Trek watch. Nice. Uh, Tom <laughs> Whalen. <laughs> Amazing. Michael Powell, right. Tom Whalen. So I've got Key screaming at me, but without any sound. Um, so thank you so much, Matt. Sorry. It's okay. Uh, really appreciate everything you've uh, you've brought this year in terms of like in the time you've given us. Um, so thank you and uh, thank you everybody for watching. And we have Leia Butter about to about to come up, and then we've got the quiz as well. So good luck, Gary. Um, I hope the rest of the <laughs> con goes good for you. All right. <laughs> End it. <laughs> Did you end it?